What's up gamers? I'm Unwritten Sphere. Welcome to my channel. Today you are not gonna want to miss this episode. This is a house of horrors. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. It starts to get scary. Let's jump in. Hello Mark. Mark's bedroom, October 26th, 7.27pm. Okay. Hey! Oh, hi. I had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah, if we get it shot and in the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec, and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. Apparently. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. Cynical, joke about the job, or earnest, it wasn't the right move. Uh, uh... The job wasn't the right move. The train thing confirmed it. Flimsy. I don't buy it. You don't have to. Uh, okay, so... Mark is immature, protective, practicals kind of hanging out there, tolerance there in the background, sincere, passionate. Oh, okay, yes, that was from when she was on the bridge. I do recall. Buy it. I do Come recall. Come on, let's shoot this. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. Wait. Enthusiastic, Jamie can set up lights, or reassuring, you look good in any light. Uh, let's be enthusiastic. We can get Jamie to set up some lights. No. I don't want to wait around. I want to shoot something before dinner, otherwise Charlie is going to be in my face all evening. And to Practical be honest, I'm, I'm at capacity with Jamie. I get it. Mark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean... Oh, they were together. They all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish, or both. Uh, hesitant, can I say something or excited? We're hitting the golden hour, let's go. Uh, Before we... I want to know what he wants to say. Look, can I say something? We agree that we're sticking to just the job. What? What is it now? Protective, sincere. So sincere is bigger, passionate and tolerant are still kind of... Well, passionate was bigger. Right? But practical was not. I think. Right. Which is why you can't just roll up and drive by psychoanalyze me. I... Fair enough. <sighs> okay. You're right. That wasn't fair. I'm sorry. We don't need to rehash stuff. Let's just work. Uh... Serious, the breakup is harder than I thought. Say nothing or supportive. You're right. I'm sorry. Let's be supportive. No, you're right. I am. Um... Wait, practical went away? What? <laughs> okay. You're right. We agreed. I'm sorry. Relationship updated. Mark was earnest when his... Wait, bleh. Mark was earnest with his answer to Kate. Mark supported Kate's decision. Okay. Well, those are all good things. Yay. I do a good job. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> okay. Where to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Let's find a way up there. Use Mark's camera. How's a new place? To search. It'll do for now. Do you like it? Photo opportunities. It's just a place to keep my shit in crash. Oh Short-term lease, so I can take my time to find I something can't, I really like. I can't like. breed it while they're talking. Hmm. Smart plan. You said I needed to be out, so I got out. I, well, I don't know what it said. <laughs> it's complimenting you. No, just saying. I was... Oh, wait. No. Whoa, there, bucko. I was just checking for light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, oh, safe Oh, I didn't place. know that was her room. Whoop, awkward. Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird-ass rules. So, since we can't do it tomorrow, is next weekend okay to come and get my stuff? Hello? 
I guess she's got to think about it. That's locked. Do we go up that way? That would make sense that that's where the balcony is. But what's over here? No, that's locked too. Dang it. <laughs> okay. Why is the music doing that? The music is picking up. Is this a creepy hallway? Uh, the wall is dirty. Oh, hello. I took your picture. Wait, there's a shiny over here. Hold on, Kate. I gotta get to the shiny. What is that? There's something back here. Elixirs? What is this? This is a creepy room. Don't like that. Don't, don't like that. No, don't like the table. The, that looks like a, I'm gonna get drugged and something bad's gonna happen. Don't, don't like that room. He's like, there's something weird over here. She's like, whatever. Tell me you don't care. You got telling me you don't care. Uh, oh, oh, Charlie, no. What even happened? Lighthouse, Aaron, and Charlie. Charlie falls on his bum, goes boom. Okay, sure. <laughs> Don't want that to happen. Don't want Charlie to go boom. That would be bad. Right, Kate? Just gonna stand there looking dead inside. Let's go into this room. This random room. Because it's the only room that's not locked. So if Dumek catches us in here, are we breaking one of his rules? He did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust the door down and get now in here. Now I have here. proof that you went really? wandering. So maybe we should take care. Probably. Um, yeah, I feel like Dumet is the kind of dude can't? who loses his shit if you break his rules. Oh, what was your first clue? When he took away our phones like we were kind of teenagers? I was just standing still listening to them talk and it was like, you need to push W to walk. Huh. Guess we're not totally alone. Oh. Georgie, where are you going? Shit. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of me. Me too, man. The truth behind America's first serial killer. Was he the devil by Joseph Morello? Oh, secret found. What was it? J. Morello Holmes' book. A book by Joseph Morello. He is, is a, he is, is a true crime writer specializing in H.H. H. Holmes. All right, English. Since his first book in 2002, Joseph Morello has been fascinated by investigating serial killers and none have intrigued him more than H.H. H. Holmes. In his latest paperback, Morello ex examines more than 15 years of his own research and writing separating fact from fiction to provide evidence about the truth behind the historic case of America's first serial killer. Was he the devil? A must for Morello fans, Real Killers magazine. It's like an analysis of your worst nightmares review monthly. Oh gosh. Don't like that. Sounds creepy. What's this? Gouge mark in the desk. This takes me back. That sure does. I used does. to carve the hell out of my desk in middle school. Rebel. <laughs> that. That's an interesting connection. What does that sound? What is that? Is that Kate walking? 
God, I hope so. That's some big footsteps there, lady. Uh, what am I looking at? Mark can extend his monopod to reach high objects. Okay. <laughs> I want that. Yeah, you gotta use the thing. It's on your back. Is that the thing? Is it- is it this thing? Stop. Stop. Stop, you're embarrassing me. Stop it. Uh, okay. How do I- how do I get the- the- the monopod? Excuse me, can you help me? I need this thing on, on my back, I think it is? But I'm not entirely positive. That's not anything. Oh! I just figured it out. <laughs> I'll be all right. I got it. Woohoo! That's what's important. Dude, what are you doing? That scared the shit out of me. I dropped it. What is this? Okay. It's a, a white book. Can I read it? Can I open it? Can I do any? Oh, okay. I can open it. Oh. Secret found. A newspaper clipping announcing Hector Monday's birth. How do I view the video? I can't? Okay. Alright, fine. Births, deaths, marriages. Mr. and Mrs. Robert Hall of Silver Spring announce the birth of their daughter Marilyn on June 10th at White Oak Hospital. Elaine and Stephen Wright of North Park announce the birth of their son, Maurice, on June 10th at White Oak Hospital. On behalf of their daughter, Lucinda Monday, proud grandparents George and Irene Monday of Silver Spring announce the birth of their grandson, Hector Whalen, on June 11th at White Oak Hospital. Hmm. All right. To the balcony. There's got to be a way through. Well, um, it's locked, so probably not. Wait, there's a door over here. We're just gonna leave that book on the floor. We're not gonna like put it back. Look at this wallpaper. Whoa! What is the water doing? That's what I'm concerned this about. This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. Nope. Looks like Dumet is trying to preserve things. Can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the ghost. All right. There. See that key? Just need to find a way through. Oh, I do. It's right here. There's the key. Find a way through. Rod is going to set in. Right. That's it. That's long. What? But since we got here, I've been smelling something faint, distant. Can't place it. It's decay. That's disturbing. Old house. Yeah. Island beaches with dead fish, animals in the wood. Could be anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell. There's a ladder. Can I climb the ladder? <gasps> I can. There's a hole here. Nice. What's this? Push. Oh god, I'm gonna kill Kate on accident. I probably should have warned her that I was just gonna do that. She didn't even turn around. Oh, she kind of side-eyed me just now. I guess that counts. Um... Can I... Can I pull this this way? Don't mind me while I do all the work. Oh, let this go. I'm stuck. There we go. Oop. 
no, 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 go back. I want you to jump up there. I'm gonna have to push this thing all the way in. Okay. There we go. Uh, can I go this way at all? I like crouch. Oh yeah. Keep your head down. Oh, there's a ladder. I guess there was a point. Oh god. I'm being watched. Oh my god. That's creepy. That is so creepy. Don't like that. Don't like that. Where is that camera? It was watching from somewhere over here. The ladder there. Oh, I can move this. It's got a bar. Over here. Okay, this is harder than it looks. Okay, can we put it over here, please? Alright, close enough. Let's climb back up the ladder. You hear noises. I'm gonna hope that's Kate. work mark oh, nice. you okay in there i'll be right back if i get down oh i see i have to climb down here and then take this move it all the way over here This ladder. Mm hmm. Now we're gonna jump over there. Anything over here? No. Okay. So if that was a camera, that can't be the only camera. They must be watching everywhere. Okay, nothing over here. And that's locked. I guess I can climb up here. You can do this. Oh, oh my gosh. <coughs> well, good job. Um. Oh, the key. Aha, balcony. Yes. Got it. Can I just open the door? Yeah. I did some gymnastics and I got the key. So let's go. Hi. My vertigo is saying otherwise. <laughs> Don't look. <gasps> is now really the time for that? 
Insistent, thought we were in a hurry, say nothing, or encouraging, don't worry, you look fine. Uh, we'll be encouraging. What are you worried about, miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. Traits updated. Sincere. Okay. I'll take it. Um, what's this? Possessions belonging to victims of H.H. H. Holmes, Chicago, 1896. Oh. Bearings updated. Marie's necklace and ring were on display in Dumet Hotel. Yeah, they were. Okay. Check this out. Hat it's his hat. Henry Howard H. Holmes. H. H. Holmes. Don't touch it. <laughs> Fuck! You okay? No! I just... This fucking thing popped out of nowhere. <laughs> I jumped. I jumped. <laughs> okay. Don't like that. See? W what is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. <sighs> it can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. <laughs> it would scare me twice. Hey, Charlie! It did scare me, me twice. <laughs> Dinner time! Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on, let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. <sighs> Charlie. Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. Forceful, we're tired of watching you fight, say nothing, or empathetic. Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Let's be empathetic. I know Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Did you see his notes? Yeah, I see. Hmm. So he's sincere, practical, immature, and protective. Stop. I can't say ha- Uh, Mark said Kate looked amazing, as usual. Mark called Charlie a pain in the ass, taking Kate's side in the conflict. Off the shitty rights. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you- Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? Bitter, he seems to think he owns us, say nothing, or indifferent. That's how directors have to be. Let's be indifferent. That's how directors have to be. It's their job. They have a vision. Ego has to play anyway a little bit. That's why I just shut up and point the camera. That doesn't mean he has to be an asshole. Fair no. enough. Uh, tolerant came up. Practical went out a little bit. But... Imagine if you were in his shoes, 40-something, still waiting for your big break. Kate, this show is the closest he'll ever have to success. Relationship updated. Phew. Mark suggested that Kate could turn out like Charlie. No, he didn't. Did he? I guess he did. I guess. Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana at Entertainment. Supportive, get out while you can. Disappointed, I thought we'd move on together or say nothing. Um, I'm gonna be disappointed. I guess I thought we'd move on together, like a team. Mark, look, this isn't your passion. It's just a job for you until you get your name out there as a photographer. You can't expect- I know. I hate this shitty documentary stuff. Charlie has got a clue about how to frame a shot, let alone tell a story. And get on with it. You're right. Dang. Uh, yeah, Tolerant just got even bigger, I think. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. Kate! Mark! Dinner is on. Aren't you hungry? I on our way! Great! Did he hear us? Obviously, Mark. Charlie and Mark. Mark called Charlie a pain in the ass while Charlie was eavesdropping. I mean, that's kind of on Charlie, isn't it? 
<laughs> Just saying. For eavesdropping. Um. Creepy. Gloved hands. Touching mannequin face. Don't like. What is that? Oh. Oh. What? What? I'm so confused. What was that? Hey guys! Charlie Restaurant, 758 October 26th. Okay. <laughs> Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Should we wait for him? Just poor Mark. Reassuring, let's all just relax, concerned. Who doesn't show up to their own dinner party or say nothing? I'm gonna be concerned because he was fleeing. Who doesn't show up to their own dinner party? None of you did. Traits updated, overbearing, cynical, determined, careless. Oh, oh, oh my God. Did anything to piss him off, did you? No, dad. <laughs> him not showing certainly tracks with every other lawn at entertainment inside source. Come on, Kate. Hello, Mr. Dumet. Dinner time! <laughs> Kate. Uh, Mr. Dumet! I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet? Yeah, back to it ain't coming. Wait, what, why? He saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Come. Yep. Yeah. You must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. No, we saw Why it. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. Come on, come on, let's go. Let's go. Where the hell are they going? They're in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. It must be his kid, right? Didn't he say something about family? I don't remember. Either way, why did they leave? Does that mean we're the only ones here? Not exactly. Why would he invite us here and to Georgie's dinner and here. then just leave? Angry, stop questioning my judgment, say nothing, or reassuring. I'm sure he has a good reason. Uh, be reassuring. I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they deliver. This could work to our advantage. How? Well, think about it. We're still here, surrounded by perfect visuals, the plan is still on track. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leap to conclusions. Or maybe he's just plain crazy. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time Charles booked an expert who's <laughs> nothing more than a serial killer groupie. Not that I want to agree with you, like, ever. <sighs> but that's what I've been saying. Demet is no damn good. But that doesn't explain why he's ditched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you? You know. So when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Oh, oh God, Shit. Jamie. <laughs> Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not Jamie. helping. Okay, fine. <laughs> just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. Well, don't. Don't just say it. I found your cigarettes. Playful, I found a pack of invisible cigarettes or resentful, the machine was broken. Let's be playful. Resentful Incorrect. doesn't do I anything good. I found an extra special pack of invisible cigarettes. In fact, I'm smoking one right now. See? <laughs> <laughs> Traits updated. Determined, cynical, careless, overbearing. Okay, I don't, I don't see the difference. That explains why you're in such a great mood. Mark was unimpressed with Charlie's bad mood and sarcastic comment about his missing cigarettes. Well... <laughs> so what are we doing? We just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? Maybe if we all just sit here quietly and wish really hard, the magical post-production pixies will just assemble a cut for us and send it to the network. <laughs> oh, God. Angry. Let's raise a glass to the post-production pixies and Charlie's brilliant <laughs> plans. Yeah. Cheers. Hostile, all right, enough, say nothing, or enthusiastic. I would like to toast all of you. 
Oh, let's be enthusiastic. Now, I would like to toast all of you. Really? I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie. Relationship updated. Charlie did a celebratory toast to the crew. Mark liked this. <laughs> okay. The two of you do the work of a team of ten. And Ke Charlie did a celebratory toast to the crew. I think they're all gonna like it. Eight. Despite our bickering, you are the heart of this. Yep. Joe. You keep people interested. Hetty and Aaron who lost my cigarettes, or Aaron appreciative. Who would be lost without you? Let's be appreciative. And finally to our newest recruit, Erin. Sincere. Sincere one up. But it's still pretty small here. We would be lost without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? Charlie complimented Aaron. Nice. Thank you all for your hard work. Oh, you're welcome. Cheers. 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 To us. To us. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. What we can... Charlie and Jamie were excited over the prospects of the footage they could get from being on the island. Oh, nice. Get here. Can take the show to the next level. Sure. If we have time to get it all. Yeah, he totally heard us. <laughs> nah. There's no way he'd say all that nice shit if he heard us. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. <laughs> you brought it up. <sighs> what was that, Kate? Nothing important, just spitballing some ideas. I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. Shouldn't be hard. <laughs> um, does anyone else think it's weird? Dumet hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, yes. I don't think he's coming. Well, he didn't come what back. What do we want to do first, Charles? Is Aaron just now paying Thank attention? You. I think it makes sense for us to start in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things would begin in the murder castle. Mm. With what light's mm -hmm. already in there, we just need to set up a couple of our own. We can make it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Dumet shows up? Uncertain. I don't want to piss him off. Say nothing or authoritative. I'll be having a strong word. Let's be authoritative. If he tells us to stop, I'm going to be having a strong word with him. He's put us in this position. Relationship updated. Charlie would have a word with Dumet on the way they have been treated. Jamie liked that. All right, everyone grab. Careless, determined, cynical, and overbearing. <laughs> that's, that's all the same. Does he have... I don't think he has any good ones. There's nothing to change. What they or need, nothing has we'll changed. in the lobby. Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No mistakes. Perfection. If he comes back, I don't want him to see us fucking about or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, guys? Fantastic. I'd love to hear that. Shouldn't take me long at all. I mean, might as Great. well get footage. That's why they're there. Right. Great. Toasty. Charlie maintained control during dinner. That was the achievement I got. Bearing updated. Wait, 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 wait. I want to see the bearing. I want to see the bearing before I forget. Dumet didn't turn up for dinner. Interesting. Okay. Gloved hand. Yep. Hat. Is he making a Charlie mannequin? I think he is. Creepy. Don't like. Don't like that at all. Aaron. Aaron's bedroom, 9.04 p.m. October 26th. What? Hello? Guys? Is that you? Oh no, she's gonna hear something creepy. Oh, 
follow the sounds coming from the walls to aim the directional microphone. Use your mouse to find the source of the noise. I don't want to. I really don't want to. Oh gosh. I should probably wait until there's somebody else with me. I don't like this. Something's gonna scare me. What is that? Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety. By Professor J.P. Hunter. Professor J.P. Hunter is an author and counselor with over 20 years of experience helping patients overcome their anxiety and panic attacks. Within this book, you will find a step-by-step -step guide designed to give you the tools you need to find a path out of the maze of anxiety. Following a unique monthly plan, you will learn anxiety-busting tips and tricks to incorporate into your busy daily life. Professor J.P. Hunter has helped thousands of people manage their anxieties and given them the confidence they need to break down walls and tackle their demons face-on. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety is a national bestseller. Hmm. Or just put your headphones on. I remember seeing that book somewhere. I thought we saw it before. I heard people talking. Bury me deep, your honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else. And cover the ground with uh. more cement. Cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. That's creepy. Uh huh. The execution of H. H. Holmes. Hmm. What? There are some weird noises. So Is this lungs? Is that a lung? Oh my god! Oh my god! She had a premonition of her being stabbed. I'd be like, nope, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. That's terrifying. I would not. I'd be like, nope, I'm out. Maybe we can sing the Don't Be Scared song. This is my Don't Be Scared song. Sing it and I won't be scared long. <laughs> yeah, I think that helped. Music? Epic music playing? What the heck? <laughs> I jumped. Oh, I, I, I don't like this. I don't like this at all.
What am I hearing? That's not good. Don't like that. Oh gosh. Creepy. 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 Don't like. Don't like. Don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. It sounds like TVs. Oh gosh. This is a house of horrors. Oh my gosh. I can hear the house of horrors. Oh my gosh. <gasps> What is that? What is that? This is my dog who scared someone. Oh my gosh, it's getting worse. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I won't be scared at all. Dang it. And I won't be scared long. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. This is scary. Oh my god, Aaron. Oh my god, Aaron. Aaron, don't you die. Don't you die on me, girl. Don't you die. We sang the Don't Be Scared song. Oh my gosh. They're just gonna leave us with that cliffhanger? Are you kidding me? Oh. Damn it. I bet that's why the power went out. Breakers. <laughs> Jamie like electrocuted herself. What am I looking at? Wires. Oh my gosh, turn the power back on. Okay, I will gladly turn the power back on. But I'm going to continue this in the next video. If you guys want to see that, make sure to subscribe. Bye!